Hello viewers and welcome back to the card mat. I'm going to show you three three different ways of doing a table cut. An easy way, uh, intermediate way and a bit more advanced way. The easy way. We've got um, jack of hearts on the bottom. And what have we got? We've got? Yeah, we've got the two aces there. We've got two red aces on the bottom, two black aces on the top. Right. Just to show you that the pack's staying in the same order. And the first one, the most easy one, is just doing that. And again, I've kept the two red aces on the bottom and just the two black aces on the top. And it's dead simple. Because all you're doing is cutting the top, the top of the, uh, cutting the pack into about half. Swinging the top half into that hand. Tapping with the bottom half. Putting the bottom half down. Putting the top half. Straight back on top again. I mean, so simple, so basic. But if you do it... If you're doing it right, it will confuse people. So don't just dismiss it because it looks dead easy. It can be quite deceptive. Right, so that was the first one. As I say, break the pack in half. Top half to the hand. Bottom half taps it. Bottom half goes down. Top half goes on the top. Let's move on to the next one. Uh, the next one is the more usual one that gets done. And you can use this to keep your pack in complete order or just keep the top stock. Just keeping the top stock is the easiest one to do. For that, I'll take the two aces out. We've got a jack of clubs on the bottom now. And we've got two black aces on the top. So what I want to do is keep the top half of the pack right. So I'll get the two black aces back, but we'll lose him. Because all I'm doing is swing cutting about a third of the pack into that hand. Swing cut a little chunk more over, keep a break, swing another pack over and put the rest on the top and cut a little pack it off, a little pack it off, a little pack it off, cuff everything from your break, put them down and put the whole lot of them down. I've got the jack of clubs on the bottom. I've got the two aces on the top, that's the main thing. How is he still on the bottom? Swing over. Ah, yeah. Now... No, we shouldn't have been on the bottom. That was lucky. Cut that. Swing over. Swing over. Swing over. Put them on the top. Cut a small packet off. Cut a small packet off. Cut a small packet off. Put them on the top. Now he's gone. <clears throat> right. I've, but I've still got the two aces on the top. So say all you're doing with that one is same again. You're just doing a swing cut, but you're only breaking off a small pack of cards. Swing them over and cast them into that hand. We've got, what have we got on the bottom at the moment? Queen of... No, hang on. What have we got on the bottom? Five of spades was the bottom card because he's going to disappear again. You break another little chunk off, pull them over, catch a pinky break, and don't worry, you've got the cards on an angle so they don't see that side. Don't turn your hand that way. So you've got your hand like that, it can't be seen. You break another packet off, put them onto the top. Break another packet off if you want, put them onto the top and put one more pack on the top. Now all you're doing is just holding that one little break down the bottom. So then all you do is you just cut a little packet off the top, another little packet off, another little packet off, then cut everything from your break and put them down, then take everything from below the break and put them down. So we're back to the jack of clubs again. But you still got the two aces on the top, so that keeps just your top stock. If you want to keep the entire deck in order, you need to catch a couple more breaks. So again, you break off um, a smallish packet, swing cut it over, break off another smallish packet and catch your pinky break. Break another packet off and catch a break with your ring finger. Then just put that packet straight down. Catch everything from above your ring finger and put it down. Everything from above your little finger and put it down. And then the last on the top. And as you can see, two red ones on the bottom. Two black ones on the top. Every other card's the same way. Little break, little bit off. Swing into that hand. Get ready to get a pinky break. Catch your pinky break. Get ready to get a ring ring finger break. You cut, you cut, catch that break. You put pack it down, pack it down, pack it down, 
everything from the brake two red uh, blacks there and the two reds down there so that keeps your pack in complete order <clears throat> right and um, the last one and again this will keep your pack in complete order you break off about half the packet swing cut that into your hand break off a little chunk swing it over catch your pinky break break another little chunk off swing over and catch a break with your ring finger put that packet down put that one down and put that one down take everything back into this hand and just do the same thing again break off a small chunk take it across another small chunk catch a pinky break you can put them on the top if you want keeping a ring finger break then break them off break from your little finger put the last little packet down and you've gone and kept your pack in complete order and it looks a bit more fancy so i'll do that again pretty slowish you break off half your pack swing it over about a third of the pack swing it over and catch a pinky break half of that packet swing it over and catch a ring finger break put that packet down everything from the ring finger down everything from your little finger down and then everything underneath your ring finger down no i missed a part sorry i'll do that again i did i missed a part got carried away so you break half the packet go over a little packet catch a pinky break a little packet catch a ring finger break put the top packet down everything from the ring finger everything from the pinky swap that back into this hand break off a little chunk of cards another chunk catching a pinky break if you want to do another chunk catching a ring finger break if you've got enough cards put them ones down put them ones down put that down and put the last lot down and again you've gone and kept your deck in complete order and that just looks so much like you're going to mix the cards up uh, you can do it and lose uh, mix the cards up but keep the, the top stock and again it is a bit easier than doing it that way because again you break off half your packet swing it over swing over another little packet i started that badly there didn't i cut off about half your packet swing it over cut another little chunk catch your pinky break another little chunk no break another little chunk with no break and that with no break then you're just breaking random packs off the top so you're altering the sequence in them until you get to the bottom one and you break you break ooh, you break you put down from the break from the break put that down and you keep your two aces on the top well, I didn't show you what the bottom card was, did I? Should have shown it, mind you. You might have seen it. If you've seen what the bottom card was, you know it certainly wasn't that one. So I say that's a way of doing it. And it is easier than doing the other one. And it does make you pack up, pack up though, but does keep top stock. Anyway, a couple of nice little table shuffles. Give them a bit of practice. Go out there. Mix them in with other different types of shuffles really confuse people. I'll see you soon.